Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on Sword Fighter Simulator and as we can tell we have a new world called a marine castle. Now in this update there's a lot of new stuff um, that I want to go over. They added a bunch of new quests, or I wouldn't say quests but in a form of way. There's like sort of merchants, uh, there's a hammer forge, or sorry not a forge but a relic forge where you can level up your relics. I've actually went ahead and leveled up my relic to level 4. If we all remember the previous stats at level 1 was 2400% power and 1900% um, crit multiplier. And another thing you guys might notice is corrupt shards. Now in the chat they have a new event that happens. Uh, it says corruption falls over skull cove. It is another red text. It will pop up like as a pop up. And yeah, that's one thing to remember. Now another thing is these eggs cost 32 DD and I also want to say that my secret pets were instantly worthless <laughs> um i mean i i guess it's just because the fact that i have magic drops and all the luck that these things became instantly worthless i should also delete all of these uh but yeah uh we're gonna basically go ahead and go through everything now, i'm gonna delete all of those later because i have a lot but so far these are my pets the captain owl is really really op i mean when we look at my click rate, it is insanely fast, and I also already have an epic sword from this, the Plasma Reaper, Ripper, I don't know, uh, that, that's pronounced right, but, um, I, I'm guessing the swords aren't really that good, uh, or that too, like, ahead, um, another thing is, these guys weren't even that OP to take out, since I'm already able to take out the pirates, like nothing, and then I was able to take out these mad pens, like nothing, if I were to just put on my power boost like this. Um, and yeah, so definitely utilize, as I said from my uh, previous videos, definitely utilize saving your damage boost and all that stuff for whenever a new update comes out. Uh, it's a really, really big boost. And I basically want to go through in this video is uh, going and showing you guys everything that came out, like the dark forest inside of the dungeon there's the relic leveling and then where the merchant is and how to farm corrupt what you can tell and how to get certain uh certain ways to get the shards so this is the relic right here as we all saw in the sneak peek this is where you level up your relic like thor's hammer right there so don't forget to remember that i don't know if there's gonna be what, what i could tell is that the only things worth fusing are legendary epics and mythicals obviously because they give the most uh because i don't know they gave me a lot of xp and just purely like with six relics i got my thing to level four and it's already at that stats so it's really op leveling up your best relic that you have uh and if you can't reach anywhere else further uh, i do think this is going to be really a uh, good thing to utilize for people who can't make it any further people are still going to want to run through dungeons just to level up their stuff I don't know if there's a max level uh, yet, but we'll all find out together once, I guess, someone in general passes it. But let me do a couple hatches, guys, and I'm going to go back to you guys once I have like a mythical to show off the stats to you guys and see if how, I guess, really good it is. So be right back. All right, guys, after a long time of hatching, also in darkness, uh, because when it happened, we did hatch a bunch of pets. We did get the mythical, which is a Dito Vito of the name, and it's really powerful, I'd say, for um, the mythical. Um, they're legendary. Now, you may be wondering what we're doing in Ancient Sands. The reason this is where the merchant spawns. I just do not know exactly. Somewhere. Hiding in a corner. Alright, so, ooh, so he has a timer, he has new things pop up, it looks like currently he just has 2x coins or 2x damage, do we think the prices are worth though, because a coin is costing 8, and it's only 15 minutes, probably good, 15 shards are really worth a damage boost for 20 minutes as well, because one, no one's going to be using a 20 minute boost for any long period of time like that, and two, when I did a corruption, I barely got four shards um they were very hard to get because i think they're currently bugged or something but the event's not properly happening to 
where everything is corrupted sort of like how the blizzard has everything frozen is what they're going for but yeah that is where the merchant is uh hopefully you guys get good things out of him when it comes to him respawning like loot but, but so far that's what i got now we all know there is always a secret place in these updates for farming secrets now i do want to also show you guys that and get it over with in this video rather than making you guys wait in another video <clears throat> so let me go for what the oh I, we found the secret place <laughs> did not mean to fall down there uh all right we're gonna go see if we can find anything i also nerfed the santa slime which uh i don't really like i feel like i prefer the fast speed but anyways let's go and search for this new secret place i'll see you guys in a second uh, so who, who would have guessed that the secret is literally just right over here? Uh, the secret area, come over here straight down this path, and I'm guessing you drop down in here into another ant cave, it looks like, because this is somewhat like the other one. And it's a little town. Now, I'm guessing during darkness, there will be mobs that spawn all over here in this cool marine town for ants. And yeah, I wonder if you could climb back up. Okay, yeah, so you climb up back back up from this weird looking like bread stick of a rope and yeah that's probably gonna be where the secret area is and i hope this video shows you guys a bunch of stuff that you haven't seen for yourself everything new and if you guys did enjoy this so far make sure to hit that like and subscribe we are gonna still be looking for a legendary sword though in this video so we're gonna be farming a bunch and i want to show you guys once we have a legendary sword what the stats are from this area and how worth i guess certain swords are to grind versus pets because of the big difference as we know i'm getting three qi currently per hit so i'll skip back to you guys once i farm a bunch of swords and until i get i guess a legendary all right guys after farming a while doing a couple swords we finally got the legendary paladin pounder now it is basically five sx more than the regular soul breaker so it's easier to get in general um for you guys uh if you go into the new world since it's just a legendary so it is worth to go for now another thing that i want to talk about is that the merchant has tons of other stuff and uh, one thing is that he has is a what is it called i guess a enchant transfer uh thing you could do i haven't seen it for myself but others have talked about it so i'm guessing that's something op you could buy with those shards and these are also the spirits down here but yeah that's going to be the end of this video guys if you guys did enjoy this hit that subscribe button hit that like we're close to 2000 subs i appreciate all of you and come over to a stream if you see me live peace out